Ethiopia's drought has been a long one. In August, 4.5 million people needed assistance. That is now nearly doubled. But government says the crisis remains under control. The government uh, was able to, of course, with the support of uh, partners, was able to uh, provide uh, those fodder and uh, food to many affected areas. Uh, but the problem continues uh, to grow because the effects of El Nino uh, are not just a one season effect. The extreme weather patterns brought on by El Nino are affecting other countries in the region. Ethiopia relies heavily on agriculture, so the drought has hit hard. So far, we have allocated about $200 million to purchase uh, um, emergency food. Uh, mostly from local sources and, of course, from international sources as well. You don't have to be uh, the poorest country in the world. You don't have to be uh, the wealthiest country in the world or whatever. All it requires is that because such emergency situations call for uh, reconfiguration of uh, one's uh, financial plans, if you will, uh, expenditures, if you will. The government has put in place measures to avoid catastrophe like the famine in 1984. Ethiopia uh, today is not uh, Ethiopia of 1984, and of course the government is uh, capable of uh, 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 preventing the kind of colossal famine some naysayers are predicting will happen. So the Ethiopian government says it's well prepared for disaster, but this is a case of funding too. Aid agencies say the country needs nearly $600 million to save people and livestock. Groom Talas, CCTV, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.